Hello chess friends and welcome to your Zard of Chess channel and welcome back to our little computer chess world with an amazing gameplay by Two Strong Chess Engine by Renegade and the most powerful chess engine in the world by Stockfish17. With this video we're actually continuing our mini series where Stockfish is playing with the black pieces because a couple of days ago we have covered really great defense played by the fish against the English opening and yesterday we saw a very very spectacular game played by Stockfish with the black pieces against the Yobaba London system today's repertoire will be the Nimzo Indy defense performed here by the fish with the black pieces and again it's a great game of great theoretical value where Stockfish will play a great opening and then great middle game strategies but then also epic really spectacular uh, end game tactics so put your seatbelts on and enjoy again in a really really crazy game played by Stockfish 17. so let's see now what happened with white here renegade opened with the move c4 the game started as a uh, as an english opening we have the anchor defense but after a couple more moves we have the transposition uh, into the three knights variation of the nimzo in the defense Stockfish plays now the move b6 uh, basically in the beginning the move order of blacks is a competition for the e4 score were uh, all of the moves are doing something uh, maybe not some moves directly but indirectly it's really really battle for e4 square the knight is pinned uh, which is controlling the e4 square the knight on f6 is controlling the e4 square and now stockfish is preparing to battle for the for the e4 square with the move bishop to b7 queen to b3 immediate attack against um against uh, the bishop on b4 stockfish has to now protect it with c5 we have a d takes c5 bishop to c5 and now bishop to g5 uh, here by renegade pinning also the knight on f6 bishop to b7 we have now the move e3 and now bishop to e7 so far a calm game i would say nothing spectacular is going on this move order has been played many many times in chess history i see really many games in the database but with good success uh, i see for black many drawage games many also winning games uh, by black so so far uh, standard theory standard line of um of the nimzo in the defense we have bishop to e2 knight to a6 by the fish going for the c5 square calcing and now knight to c5 queen drops back and now stockfish occupies the square that we have discussed uh now stockfish has a great grip around the score e4 knight takes e we have bishop takes e4 and the queen drops back uh with two uh, to a4 and in this particular moment we have now theoretical novelty a move that we haven't seen so far in chess history stockfish plays queen to c7 and renegade goes uh, here with knight to d4 hopes to get an activity maybe with knight to b5 and hoping maybe to occupy somehow the weak d6 square in white uh, in black's position now stockfish makes a great move i would say kingside casting which is as i said an equal game but it's a provocative move because many of us uh, i think with the white pieces would play moves like a queen to b5 but queen to b5 actually is not so good because of this counterattack. queen to c6 we hit simply the weak pawn on g2 and now after something like uh, uh, f3 there is still this resource queen to c5 notice that the bishop is a little bit loose it's a little bit misplaced now you could maybe step back uh, then we simply play bishop to c6 and now the knight gets pinned you're trying maybe queen to b3 to get out of this mess but then again the knight is dancing here uh, against the bishop so bishop to g3 bishop takes i just analyzed one line but i wanted to show you how really bad this position could become uh, for white look at this many many structural weaknesses uh, e3 g3 b5 weak uh, this bishop will be a monster in continuation of the game we can reroute it there when d5 happens um, black will have a solid structure will not have any weaknesses in the position so all of this is maybe an opposite color bishop's position where many times the position are ending with a draw i would not really love to play this position uh, with the white pieces uh, with such an endangered king um, also we have here double pawn structure uh, black and create maybe here pass or so many many position problems so that's why after casting uh, there's no time for knight to b5 that's why uh, renegade anticipated a uh, stockfish possibility of the move queen to c5 and that's why bishop to a uh, bishop to h4 perfectly fine move here by white a6 now finally stockfish prevents knight to b5 queen to b3 and now rook from f to c8 rook from uh, a to c1 we have now tension uh, on the c file if something clears on the c file the queen could be in danger and now stockfish noticed a tactical problem uh, here in the position obviously there is this tension on the c file but stockfish is saying i have already a battery on the c file i'm going to open this position with the move b5 uh, here renegade steps uh, attacks now the bishop the stockfish uh, drops back and now a huge decision 
uh, here by Renegade, we have now the move C takes B5. And what White is hoping for is to get a position where White will have two connected pass pawns on the queen side, which is a really risky choice that Stockfish did here. I mean, human level, I'm not sure how many of us would dare to play this move uh, B5, but look at this. Here, Stockfish took. Give up now, give up now the queen for two rooks, which is a good good trades of pieces now after king to f2 we have a takes b5 we have now queen to b5 and you see now the tactical and positional problems now for for black white has created now two connected pass pawns on the queen side the queen is still on the board um there are still the issues of the king of course the king is a little bit endangered and black has also some worries here maybe with the king uh, on on g g8 if you move the rook there are maybe some problems on the back rank but the two connected pass pawns would bother me for sure. I'm not sure if I would love to play now this position uh, with the black pieces. Although the evaluation is slightly better for black, but it's a complicated, complicated game for sure, uh, where white is simply marching now with the pawns. Let's see now how Stockfish handles this position. Stockfish creates, first of all, breeding spaces for the king because uh, Stockfish wants to play freely with the rook and it's now threatening, of course, uh, the move rook takes uh rook takes a2 that's why a4 here by renegade and now b3 renegade keeps now uh, this pawns connected and of course wants to push them further rook j2 the bishop gets pinned and now renegade gets out of the potential attack on the second rank rook to c8 stockfish includes now a new piece into the game and is hoping to maybe somehow in long terms play the move e5 kick away the knight from the square uh c2 and then create a re uh a great battery of the rooks here on the second rank bishop takes f6 bishop takes f6 bishop to c4 renegade locks out now uh, the c file stockfish continues now with d5 and i think from this point on um, black is really the initiative because although there are two connected passports as, as we mentioned it's hard to let them roll it's hard to activate them stockfish is now giving simple threats um to white and white is, is always on the reacting side not on the acting side so here first of all queen to a6 good move i would say here by renegade force and now a reaction now finally a stockfish has to step back with the rook here we have uh, bishop to a6 renegade is hoping now already to clear the b file and push the pawn further bishop to e5 first a check king drops back to h3 and now h5 good move by the fish which is not allowing moves like uh maybe here a g4 to happen there's always also the threat of a potential checkmate uh here on h2 very very nasty nasty already uh tactical preparation by by the fish queen to c5 again hoping to let this pawn roll on the b file bishop to f6 we have now a5 and now bishop takes d4 that's the move that stockfish has waited for that the queen is somehow overloaded to the defense of the knight and also to the defense of the pawn because if you play queen to d4 then the pawn is hanging so this move bishop takes d4 forces now uh here renegade to take with the e pawn now stockfish continues now with bishop to f5 uh we have a check g4 h takes g4 we have f takes g4 and now bishop to e4 and stockfish has now a great great activity with the bishop with the rook and the only thing that we need to do is somehow include this other rook into the game it's a tough quest it's almost impossible to to make that happen immediately but you see white's king is already cornered very 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 tough to now also to position to handle here for for renegades so renegade tried g5 stockfish continues with f6 the issue is now g takes f6 is not working here for white because of the problems that we have discussed black desperately wants now to get this other rook into the game and i hope you realize again here these are two connected pass points, but they are not rolling they're not threatening this bishop is also standing in the way so um white needs i don't know five six maybe even 10 15 moves in order to threaten something here on the queen side meanwhile black is doing already some nasty threats against this lonely king on h3 here after move f6 that's why renegade tries to keep uh the files diagonals locked as much as it can but now stockfish plays a beautiful attack the queen drops back and now a new check you have to now go here and now bishop takes g6 the issue is now that you cannot pick up the pawn on e6 because of this problem bishop to f7 and now rook to e8 
Rook to e8 is the move that Stockfish simply wants to get. Stockfish, as we mentioned, wants to activate the other rook. When that happens, the game is over uh, for white. That's why after bishop to g6, a renegade plays now h4. Stockfish is playing now bishop to f5. Uh, here we have king to uh, f4 and now bishop to h3. Look how um, the white king is cut off now. The third rank is occupied. You cannot step back with your king. And Stockfish is hoping now to get the e5 move. That's why Renegade has to play bishop to b5. Has to prevent this move rook to e8. For instance, if you try h5, then rook to e8 is coming with a huge threat. e5 could be even a checkmate. Or maybe you're trying bishop to b7 uh, to not lose your pawn on b3 because bishop to b5 disconnects. Uh, the queen to the pawn but again rook to e8 with the threat of e5 uh very very nasty stuff to handle so that's why bishop to b5 only move uh here for for renegade to keep somehow the position locked here to keep somehow the uh, king secure but now rook takes b3 this pawn is very important stock which grab now one of these uh, two connected pass pawns and now queen to c6 and now a brilliant idea e5 now the position is exploding uh here in the center of the board uh, d takes e5 f takes e5 comes with the check mission accomplished finally this rook is coming into the game rook to f5 king to d4 rook to f4 the issue is now uh you cannot step back with your king here because rook to uh rook to c3 uh wins the queen of course so the, it's game over so that's why king to e5 had to be played and now rook to e4 again a brilliant move here by the fish B king takes d5 but now bishop to g2 look how uh here in this position the queen is lined up on this down like the king bishop to g2 there are now so so dirty th the tactics that are possible here in order to stay in the game what should you do what should you do if you deliver check here with the queen then there is this problem of rook to e8 rook to e8 of course comes with the check and the queen will be taken great great uh attacking ideas here by the fish after bishop to g2 in order to stay in the game in order to prolong the game uh renegade has to play bishop to f1 has to now get rid of this nasty attacker of this bishop but now stockfish plays another brilliant move maybe just for fun pause the video and try to see now the winning idea here for uh for white take your time it's really a great great tactic so it's the only winning move here for uh for black what would you do now in this particular position okay here the fish found the stunning rook to d3 this is the way to go we want simply to keep this bishop here uh that's that's the only good move here for white after bishop to uh, for black pardon me after bishop to d3 now comes the stunning rook to a4 uh which of course creates the discovered attack against uh here uh the king you have to now step back if you just bring the bishop in between of course nothing dramatically changed still uh, the rook is connected to the e4 square you have to play now king to d6 bishop takes c6 we have now king takes c6 and now rook takes a5 we have reached now this end game in which obviously um black is completely winning there's nothing that can be done you cannot uh do i don't know you cannot play bishop to g6 to maybe somehow try to fix the position with the move um, uh, with the move uh, h5 because you're lining up your bishop on the on the sixth rank and again it would be game over. So after rook to a5, that's why bishop to c4 here by renegade. Stockfish steps back and now goes for this pawn. Grab now this pawn. Bishop to g6. Just uh, a bad move here by renegade. And after a couple more moves, a white simply resigned. After g5, the game uh, was uh, was uh, resigned here by uh, the top engine renegade. So amazing, amazing again ideas uh, here by the fish. Beautiful Nimzo Indian defense. Beautiful three knights variation of this opening then cool tactics allowing here uh, this two connected pass pawn situation which many of us would mess up i'm sure in human level many of us would not win this game uh, with the black pieces and then this beautiful tactical shots activation of the second rook here we saw the rook on f8 was a little bit passive through the whole game but stoffers found great ways how to activate him again very really, really incredible immortal game Played by the most powerful chess engine in the world by Stockfish 17. So, okay, I hope that you enjoy this game. Really great defense again by the fish with the black pieces. If you want to see these games that uh, I've mentioned in the beginning of the video, here are the links to the videos. Check them out if you're maybe having some problems uh, playing with the black. And if you want to see some other amazing AI chess games, check out our whole playlist of computer chess games. Here's also the link to the playlist. And if you like this content, hit the subscribe button. 
see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course